place we're going to be getting this truck dropped off and I'm going to go over why I went with the lift kit that I did on this truck and what we're doing. So the lift kit is actually a rough country lift kit. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys are ready to see this thing. We're going to be doing a 5 inch suspension lift. It's sitting on a 3 inch body lift right now which we're getting rid of. Devin's going to be getting rid of the body lift when he installs the suspension. But the reason I don't want to keep the body lift rides like crap. It's going to hopefully ride way better on suspension. Stay tuned. We're going to get this thing up there. we got to stop by a Dodge dealership here in Fort Wayne, pick up some new cab bolts for this truck because of course when they put the 3 inch body lift on, they didn't leave the hardware in the truck. And the problem with that is now we're going to have bolts that are 3 inches too long and it's not going to work. So uh, we had to find OEM cab bolts so that we could get rid of the body lift and get it restored back down to the way that it was supposed to be. We put a new grid heater in this truck the other day and I told you I was going to start it out cold so you guys could see if that solved the issue. On our way right now, gotta drop off some more orders, which by the way, we're almost out of our cash products. And then uh, we will no longer be doing cash and orders after these products are gone. And also today is your last day to get five times the bonus entries towards winning our 24 valve plus $5,000 cash, which you will see later on in this video here. Not much later on, but later on. Yeah, so if you wanna grab 5X bonus entries, I know Marshall, they gotta get in today. If you wanna get 5X bonus entries, you gotta get in today, and then that deal will be expired. Well, there is so much to go over with this truck real quick, but before we do that, let's get all the salty, snowy, nasty grime off of this truck. So much for pressure washing. Apparently, there's a bunch of water that was left in the pressure washer somehow. So it uh, doesn't work right now. So we're gonna use the hose. It doesn't work quite as well, but it should get the job done for today. I can't take it anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to keep washing this stinking truck. 10 people drive by as soon as I pick up my camera. I've been trying to scrub this thing for an hour and it's so defeating, nothing's happening. And let me show you what I mean. And then we'll get to the lift stuff. I'd wipe and wipe and wipe and come back. Ice everywhere, you see this? All this, yeah, ice. Yeah, it's 20 degrees out here. So I'm trying my best to clean the truck up so that I don't have people on the couch in the comment section going, that truck's covered in salt, get the salt off, you know, whatever. Well, I'm trying to as much as I can. When I'm in the process, as soon as I get one side rinsed down and try to go get my towel and wipe it down, ice. Like it just freezes instantly. Teal gets covered in ice and all that road film. This side's covered in splotches of ice everywhere. Like I tried, I got most of the undercarriage pretty well, um, pretty well cleaned up but the, the ice is a real killer. So let's go over the truck because of course a lot of stuff has happened since you've seen this thing in the past couple videos. So um, when you guys saw this truck last, a couple things were different. A, it did not have the body lift taken off. The body lift was still on the truck and it did not have a five inch suspension lift and it had a big ugly front bumper, which I've heard about. Okay. And he's gone, okay. And a big ugly front bumper that I hear about in every single post on Instagram, every post on Facebook, every post on YouTube, which is just so annoying because like I ordered it and it just took so long to come in. It just came in yesterday. I didn't have the truck though so I couldn't put it on. But like I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and people are like mocking me in the comment section. It just drives me crazy. Even though I've been doing this YouTube and social media crap for like four years, that kind of stuff still drives me freaking nuts when people know they're trying to get under your skin and I know they're trying to get under my skin and I still let it happen. So let's show you on the truck. We've got a five inch lift on the truck and it does have, thank goodness, freaking horn. It does have a little bit of lean and this one does actually have a little bit of lean. It's hardly, but it is. So the truck has a five inch lift kit on it, but it also has a two inch front spacer, not a two and a half, not a three, just a two inch front spacer. But I didn't even realize it had it when I bought the truck because it like hides up underneath 
of the um, you know coil retaining thing. I, I'm sorry, I'm like having a blank on what that's called. It's hidden up under there pretty darn well, so you don't even really see it unless you get up closer to the truck. But I didn't even realize that was on the truck. And uh, he called me when he was installing. He said, "Hey, it does have." A small spacer up above the coil do you want me to leave it or take it out I said you can leave it as long as it's not like a three inch I don't want it to like lean a ton but if it's like a little bit that's fine I know for some people it's kind of like you know love it or hate it I don't know it just kind of depends on your preference with a little bit of lean but this truck has one inch more of height in the front than the rear and it looks like a lot more because there's no front bumper on it but it's actually only one inch of difference from floor when you're on a level floor from floor to the fender it's only one inch different front to rear some people love it some people hate it if you absolutely hate double hate having one inch higher in the front than it is the rear from being level it's not that hard to take these out you basically just have to lift the front end of the truck up let the axle drop undo a couple bolts so you can get your spacer out and then just drop your spacer and then just pull them back up. I mean, it's, it's really not that hard to take those out. You really don't want it to have that one inch of lean compared to being level. The body lift also came off the truck. So you guys remember back when we had the body lift on, there were these big, ugly spacers. Like you'd have this body bushing and then you'd have this three inch cylinder just stacked i mean i mean it was just so ugly same with like back in here there was just these huge spacers creating this you know for this body lift and it was so ugly i hated it and under the bed too um it's all better now so the thing that drove me crazy about this truck is the bed actually it not only had a body lift but he only had four corners of the body lift on it was far left far right and then up in the front two corners he didn't have the four that you need in the middle of the bed. But when I say he, I'm not talking about the guy that I bought the truck off of. He bought the truck like this, he buys and flips stuff. Um, the guy before him, whoever did the, the body lift on it is who I'm referring to. I don't know the guy, I have no idea who he is. All I'm saying is uh, he was missing parts of his body lift. So even though I had a body lift, it was not properly on the truck to where I'm sure if you would have actually heavily loaded the bed down with stuff, you would have eventually had some bed sag in the middle and it would have started to sway and crap like that. Would have been pretty ugly. This is a rough country, so you've got your upper and lower control arm drop brackets that you don't need to put new upper and lower control arms on. And you've got a bracket above your upper control arm to uh, make that positioning a little bit closer to what it needs for the axle to sit where it's supposed to sit and have the clearance that you need for your wheels and tires. Turned out pretty good though. Now there are a few things that we've got to do to the truck here. I cannot wait until we move so far from civilization that you cannot hear anything except for what you're supposed to hear in the videos because this drives me crazy. Okay. Now our buddy Devin, he did also uh, give us a list of things that we're going to be needing to fix on the truck. When I say fix, I mean it's just like normal wear and tear parts like ball joints. He said he would suggest doing ball joints, front U-joint. He said he would recommend doing a front U-joint, which is why the front drive shaft is out right now. He's like, I would just take it out because it's it's pretty sloppy and last thing you want is for something to go horribly wrong where going down the road and then you lose your drive shaft or it breaks or breaks something else under there from it spinning and whatever else we're gonna do a full service of course and just some other odds and ends that just need done um, to basically get this truck to where it's not only looking good but is fully functional and you're not gonna have any issues with it for a long long time in terms of the exhaust we did order an exhaust for the truck and uh, the reason I did that is I'm not a fan of the huge muffler to be quite honest with you guys, some people like their truck to be a little more on the quiet side, which I understand, but for me personally, I just don't like how quiet it is. And I think that most of you guys agree that uh, a straight pipe would be much more suiting for the truck and for the label of our channel, of course. And then under the rear end, of course, you've got your lift blocks, which are just a different style. I don't know how much taller they are actually compared to stock. It might be a little bit, of course, factory second gens actually do have a big block under the rear leafs already from factory that is going to put a wrap on this video for today because i need to get this video up today because this is february 1st your last day for 5x bonus entry so if you want to get if you would like to get five times the bonus entries right now is your last chance right now is your last be gone here's another truck 
Here's the dog barking. Thank you so much for all the love and support. It's this easy. Head on over to the store, grab anything off the site, and for every $1 that you spent, you get five entries until midnight tonight. And the giveaway itself is ending on February 15th. So you have less than two weeks now to get your entries before this giveaway for the truck plus $5,000 cash is gone. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.